Hello Aries, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the third week in August. This reading is for all of the Aries out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the third week in August. That's August 15th to August 21st. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, Check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Excuse me. Check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy and my vibe, you feel like I'm a reader for you, and you would like to show some support to the channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell and that thumbs up image to help this video circulate. If you need a personal private reading, the link to the email address is in the description box. I do have openings for the month of August if you would like or if you feel like you need a private personal reading. All right. Aries, what is the energy for the sign of Aries? What is the energy for the sign of Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the Six of Swords. The Knight of Cups. I see movement. I see movement here. So someone is moving towards you. Oh, but the five of wands. Okay. Five of wands. What other energies are here for my Aries? Seven of pentacles came out. The judgment card, Scorpio energy. Some of you may be dealing with the Scorpio. Why is this judgment card here for my Aries? Sun, moon, rising. Oh, okay. That's too many. Why is this judgment card? Okay, there we go. There we go. Three of cups. There we go. What is going on with the sign of Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is going on with the sign of Aries? All right. That's too many. Let me get these cards a shuffle. So there could be a, like a lot going on with you right now, Aries. A lot going on in your mind. Some of you could be overthinking a situation. I'm just feeling like an overwhelming feeling. Like an overwhelming feeling of thoughts. Thoughts and feelings. Because we have to differentiate. Yeah, see, it came out again. So we have the three of pentacles. This could be a third party situation. The four of pentacles. And we have the th the two of cups here. So we have the, the two of cups and the three of pentacles here. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of pentacles, okay? So I am seeing that you know your worth. This could be you or your partner. You know your worth. And you're moving, and because you you know or you've learned your worth, you're moving towards peace and harmony, and you're loving yourself, or you you are loving on yourself. However, because you are moving towards peace and harmony, your um this person that's in your heart space is conflicted. They don't know how to take you. They don't know what you want. They don't know if they should take action, if they should stand back. They don't know what to do. So they may have stopped putting in the work. Or either you stop putting in the work. There's some confliction behind if I should move forward or if I should stand still in this union. Someone wants a second chance, though, with the judgment card. Someone wants to do things over. They want to rekindle things. They want to renew this relationship and they are waiting for you to make a judgment call i feel like with this three of pentacles someone wants to celebrate with you they want to come together with you and have a good time however with this three of pentacles there is a third party here this person may want to come in they want to start over they want to do things over however they have not released their um uh third party so that is why you are holding back from reconnecting with this person. 
And this could be vice versa. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. So we are going to, um, at this time, we are going to clarify to see what other energies are here for my Aries. Aries, what other energies is here for is here for the sign of Aries, okay? Because someone is, has a third-party situation going on. There is a third-party situation going on here. What other energies are here for the sign of Aries? What other energies are here for the sign of Aries. All right. Six of Pentacles. So here we have someone. You're moving towards peace and harmony because, again, someone was juggling multiple peoples, multiple things. Now this person is ready to come in to offer you a cup of their love. They're, they're trying to come in quickly. They're trying to move in quickly because they do love you. There is love and emotion here, but they want to balance things out within this marriage or this long-term commitment to bring in some type of justice. But there's conflict here because this person may be just coming in to have sex with you. Could be a cancer with this chariot card. Why is this chariot here? Tower. Okay. So that lets us know that if this person comes in, there's going to be a tower moment. See, the foundation of this union has crumbled. And because this foundation has been crumbled or it came coming down or it was built on faulty ground, you have to rebuild the foundation before this person is able to even come back in. And with this high priestess, Cancer Pisces energy, you stop putting in the work in this union because you were listening to your intuition. So your intuition told you, don't put in this union. Wait. Wait to see if this person change. And wait to see if they're if they deserve for you to reconnect with them. And that's why you walked away from them. Because you wanted to see a significant change. And that's not what you were seeing. And with this third party, you walked away. I'm this third party. This three of pentacles. You walked away because this person was dealing with someone else. It caused you had to use all your strength and courage. And to, you had to tame yourself, Leo's energy, in order for you to get away from this person. So now things are stuck, suspended in the air, Pisces energy. And you don't know where, they, where, where things are going. But I feel like with the Knight of Swords, things are moving quickly. Things are moving quickly for you. Where, why is this three of pentacles here? With the lover's card, yeah. See, you're undecided because you know this person is dealing with other people or someone else. So you're undecided on if you want to reconnect with them. And this was this is what your high your highest self or your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is telling you to hold back from this person because you don't know if this person is still dealing with this third party. And from the looks of things, they are. Okay, so cards are just flying out all over the place at this point. <laughs> all right, so yeah. So there are some um, obstacles that need to be overcome. But I feel like at this time, you cut this person off. You don't want to be bothered with them. And they're trying to offer you this cup of love. They're, but they, they may be messaging you, telling you like, oh, I miss you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I want to see you. But... Because you, you make me happy or you bring some type of happiness into my life. But this person is still dealing with this third party. And that's why they're up in their head. Because this person wants you and the third party. So you're moving towards peace and harmony. Because that's not what you want. You're moving towards peace and harmony to have stability within your family. Some of you may have children. With this person or without this person. But there are children here. And you're moving towards peace and harmony for you and your children. Not thinking about this person. So let's see what the outcome is. What is the outcome for my Aries, Sun, Rising, and Venus? What is the outcome for the sign of Aries, 
sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So what is the outcome for the sign of Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Aries, the sign of Aries. Okay, really. Well, that's how they wanted to come out. Yeah, see? The devil. This person is still manipulative. This person is still in that, that same toxic energy. Being toxic, being manipulative, um, uh, a manipulator, overindulgence. This person has addictions. They like to take their time and do things the way they want to do it. The chariot. Cancer. Some of you are definitely dealing with a cancer. We have cancer here twice. This person, however, they want to move forward in love, but they have a decision to make between you and this third party. They are trying to tame themselves with their strength card, Leo energy, but they're feeling overwhelmed, bogged down, feeling like they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulder because they are undecided. So they're sitting back waiting to see what you are going to do. They're waiting for some type of clarity from you before they're, they come rushing in to have a conversation. Yeah, there's some disappointment here. Definitely disappointment. This person is going to take action to come towards you, but they're going to come in an immature way. They like It may be a text message or something like that, but it's not going to be anything that's concrete to let you know that they've made changes or they released this third party because I don't believe... I don't, I'm not going to say I don't believe... I don't see them releasing this other person. But I see them coming towards you to um, to manipulate you into believing they are releasing this this, this person, and they they want you to know. I don't know what's going to um, what's coming up next. I don't know, but I'm waiting patiently. See, this person thinks that you're going to come back around because they have too much to lose. Someone has a lot to lose in this situation. So they're not just going to um, come right back in like that. Could be you, could be them. But at this moment, someone has a lot to lose. So they have to watch what they do or what they say. Because they don't, someone doesn't know what they're, what's going to occur next. But they know they, they have to be, wait, they have, they, they know they have to wait patiently. I don't know why I can't speak. <laughs> All right, so Aries, Aries, Aries. <laughs> don't ask me why I just did that. All right, so we have the snake. Yeah, this person put you in a situation where you had to compete with others. Now they're reminiscing, they're reminiscing on a past, what you had in a past, but they know that this relationship was karmic. They know, or either you know, and they don't, someone wants to talk about things. They want to hash things out because they feel like they had clarity or some type of revelation. They still have passion for you. But look, this person is the Grim Reaper. And the question is, will you give them a second chance? So Aries, this is your reading for the third week in August. Comment below, let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.